Hello friends. I've been asked to do a tutorial on a design that my husband came up with. A lot of people have uh, really liked it and have asked me how I did the fold for it. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So the first step um, in this, this fold is um, to fold the shirt in half. I just reach in through one sleeve and I grab the other one and I pull it through so that one sleeve is inside the other. I take the seams of the sleeve and line them up and then I just kind of shake the shirt out a little bit. So now we've got the front of the shirt here, um, left side and right side, and the back of the shirt is here, left side and right side. So when I'm dyeing the shirt, the color is gonna go through the front first and then the back. It just makes for more even saturation um, on the front and the back of the shirt. So, trickiest part about folding a shirt like this is to get rid of all of the creases. So, um, sometimes it's super easy. I find that it's actually easier when the shirt is dry than when it's wet. So I'm gonna fold this and shake it out and hopefully that will be all I need to do. And it is not, there's quite a bit of creasing going on here. So what I'm gonna do is grab something to help me get the creases out. So. Okay, so I've got my ruler here. I know that this is the center point of the shirt because it's right under the center of the sleeve. So I'm gonna lay this out as flat as I can here. And then I'm going to lay the ruler down along that center line. And I'm gonna bring this over. Can just feel it. like right now I can feel that there's no creases here so I'm gonna pull the ruler out and then I do the same thing up here I just kind of reach in here and flatten this out as best I can try to get any creases that are up in here because this is where the pleating is going to be and it's always important to um, get as many of the creases out as you can because those creases will affect your design all right that feels pretty good once we've got this all flat then i'm going to draw a quarter circle on this shirt with my uh, washable marker and that's what I'll be using as my guideline for folding my pleats. So I just take a dinner plate and I lay it under the shirt here and I can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the plate and where it is. And so I just kind of move the shirt around on top of the plate until I see the curve where I want it. I want the edge of the plate to be about halfway between the collar and the shoulder. So. Um, Right about there, and right, right about there, I think is probably good. So once I have this spot, the spots marked off, I just mark them with my washable marker. Right there, and right there. Then I pull the plate out, and I lay it on top. And I line up these dots with the edge of the plate just like that, and then I just draw a line. Just like that. <clears throat> so once I have my line drawn here, um, I want the, the pleats to be on the front and the back of this shirt. So I'm going to pleat all four of these layers together. So. And I'm gonna pleat this um, in pretty small pleats. You can make the pleats as big or as small as you want. The more pleats you have, the more lines you're gonna have coming down the shirt. So 
Um, because this is folded in half, this is the center point of the shirt on the front and the back. So you should have a pretty symmetrical design left to right since it's folded in half. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna fold these pleats and then I'll be back to show you what the next step is. Okay, now that I've got the pleats folded here, I've got this um, as straight as I can. I'm gonna grab my sinew, this is my waxed sinew. You, you can pull this as tight as you want to. That's probably as tight as I wanna make it. So, once I have um, these, these pleats here um, in place and pleated where I want them, then I just go in here and I, I kinda comb out these pleats a little bit. And I try, try to get the pleats as even as I can on this next tie. But you can see this spot, this spot, this spot. Those are going to be little V patterns in the neckline. So um, I want to tie just below that. And if you put your fingers underneath and kind of push up and then pull, um, it'll kind of shape the pleats for you a little bit. Those pleats are pretty well shaped. So I'm just going to go in here and wrap this. And pull that kind of tight. You'll start to feel the pleats kind of fold up on each other. Find if you put your finger here as you're pulling, it'll keep the pleats more even. And then for this, I'm just going to I'm just going to wrap it kind of loose here. You can even use rubber bands for this. I'm just going to kind of crinkle this up and wrap it and then come back and this is not tight at all it's just kind of to help it keep its shape there's that that's the top part of the shirt and for this part you can really do whatever you want here i only want my pleats to go down to about the bottom of the arm so um i just kind of again comb out the pleats and shape them a little bit pull down on the shirt and make sure that the pleats are kind of all the same height and I tie again right about here And because these pleats are transitioning into a scrunch design on the bottom of the shirt, I'm, I'm not gonna be as meticulous down here as I was up top. I'm gonna let the pleats just kinda fall naturally wherever they will, and you'll see that some of them will get lost. I'm just gonna fold a couple more, or tie rather, a couple more spots here before I start scrunching. You can take these pleats all the way down to the bottom of the shirt if you want to but I think it looks kind of cool when it transitions into a random scrunch pattern. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now that we've gotten down here to the, the bottom of the sleeve, I'm just gonna scrunch this. So yeah, I'm gonna finish scrunching this up and uh, then we'll be done. All right, so this shirt is all tied up now. Um, again, I just did the pleats from just under the collar to just under the arm. So this is pleated and tied nice and tight. And then um, down below the arms for the rest of the shirt, it's just kind of in a random scrunch and tied a little bit looser. Up on the top, the pleats transition into just a loose scrunch. So. This shirt is ready to dye. I'm actually not gonna dye it today. I'm going to uh, wait until I do my next batch to dye this. So this was just a tutorial to show the fold. So I'll show the three shirts that I folded this way at the end of this video. 
so that you can kind of see what the what the design looks like after it's dyed. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, until next time, have a great day.